Today we're gonna to be looking at the difference between Torrance and Redondo Beach. And at the end of the video, we're actually gonna to tour uh, two homes that have Redondo Beach addresses, but are in the city of Torrance. Shane Inman, a local real estate agent here in Southern California, helping families move to Southern California from all over. So if that is you and you're interested in learning about the area, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, feel free to reach out anytime. I have people moving here and reaching out constantly and it's never too early to get started in your search. So feel free to call or text or email me anytime. All right, and the first thing we're gonna check out here is uh, the views. And so as you can see behind me here, we've got an amazing view of the city and the ocean and so if the views are something that's high on your list of what's important in your search uh, then Redondo and Torrance could be a good option so in the Hollywood Riviera section of Torrance you've got homes that are built high up and can get you a great view as you can see behind me here and then in uh, Redondo Beach you have hills up or you have homes that are built up on the hillside as well and then close down to the water so you've got good options for views there as well All right, and the next thing to consider when uh, looking at Torrance or Redondo Beach is the schools. And so Torrance Unified School District has four public high schools in it, um, North Torrance, South Torrance, uh, Torrance, and West Torrance. I coach cross country and track at West Torrance and I have families on my team that um, have come from all over to because they, they wanted the school district of Torrance. Um, so do your research and figure out what is important on your school district search. Um, Redondo Beach has uh, one high school, Redondo Union. It is the second largest campus in the US, so it's a huge um, campus. And then you have all the feeder schools, elementary and middle school schools that come into Torrance and Redondo. So um, both of them have their own um, public uh, system it's outside of uh, LA Unified School District. So it's Redondo Union and uh, Torrance Unified School District. So take a look at what each of those have to offer, do some research on you know what ranks one higher versus the other, and um, make your decision on what part of uh, the town makes the most sense. Because for instance, West Torrance and Redondo High School are about a half a mile from each other. So um, you can literally be across the street um, and walk across to Torrance and cross back to Redondo. So they're very close to each other. All right, and the next thing to consider when uh, looking at Torrance and Redondo is just the style of homes. Um, you know, they each have their own characteristics and styles. Um, you know, North Redondo tends to have more two or three on a lot townhomes. So if you're looking for um, a lot of interior space, those tend to be a little bit bigger and uh, maybe built more recently than some of the other homes in the South Bay. And then, um, but you're not getting as much outdoor space. If you're looking for, you know, a big yard in the back, then um, you might not get as much interior space because uh, a lot of those homes in the South Bay may have built, been built in the 60s and um, just have a smaller floor plan. So it really kind of comes down to what's important in your, your search as far as um, livable space on the interior versus um, exterior space and you know having a big backyard or something. Um, so there are options for you know townhomes and condos um, in both Redondo and Torrance and there are single family homes in Redondo and Torrance. Um, it's just a matter of the style you like you know um, each you know Torrance is very big so Torrance is going to have quite a few different styles of homes. You might have um, an older, smaller home in uh, downtown Tor Torrance area, um, or you might have a newer, more updated home in the South Torrance area, or you might have an older home in that area. So there are options for everything. Um, you might, if you're looking for a condo near the water, um, you know, we've got uh, this condo here that I'm in right now is a uh, three bedroom, um, two and a half bath, and it is right here by the water. You've got great views and you're probably half mile walk to the beach. You also have some in the South Bay that are, you know, walk out your door and you're at the beach. So 
condos, um, you know, they may not have the same amenities um, because you're right next to the water, so you're paying the HOAs for location as opposed to maybe a gym or a pool. But um, if a condo is in your search, then there's some good options in both Torrance and Redondo. And the next thing to consider when looking at Torrance versus Redondo, uh, Redondo Beach is uh, affordability. Um, you know, get pre-approved and figure out what, you know, fits into your budget. And then um, you're gonna have options, like I said, for condos or single family residences. And then um, Torrance is very large, so there's different sections of Torrance that might be more affordable than other sections. Um, Redondo Beach, North Redondo might be a little bit more affordable than South Redondo, because South Redondo kind of curves down to the water. And so you get a lot of really close um, beach homes. And then uh, North Redondo kind of curves up more towards uh, the freeways. So, um, um, that might be a little bit more affordable, but then you also might have uh, more condo and townhome options there. And then uh, Torrance, you know, you've got North Torrance, South Torrance, West Torrance, um, and so you've got all in Old Torrance, and so you've got all of these different pockets that um, are going to have more affordable areas or less affordable areas. Um, for instance, the um, home that we're gonna look at now is a home that is in the Hollywood Riviera section of Torrance and is 3.395 million. So um, it is a Redondo Beach address, but it is actually uh, Torrance Unified School District. So all of the homes in the Hollywood Riviera uh, section of T Torrance has um, either Torrance or Redondo addresses, but it actually is a, um, Torrance Unified School District uh, home. So that is something to keep in mind. So even though Torrance, you may find a home for under a million dollars, you can also find uh, homes like this where it's got an amazing view, it's got access to the trail in the backyard, and uh, this home was actually just recently remodeled in 2016. And so, um, you know, what you're getting in the quality of the home is a newer build and you're getting the access to beach, being close by, you know, less than a mile to the beach and getting these amazing views and access to the hiking trails in the back. All right, now let's check out this beautiful three bedroom, two and a half bath condo in the Hollywood Riviera section of uh, Redondo Beach. So Redondo Beach and Torrance, like I said, it is a Redondo Beach address, but a Torrance Unified School District. All right, coming up the stairs here, it opens up to the living room area. You've got a nice little dining room area up off the kitchen into the off the living room, and then you go out the door here. You've got this amazing view of the ocean with a nice little patio area to relax. As you go back in through the dining area to the kitchen, you've got this updated kitchen with a half bath off of the kitchen area. And as we go up the stairs here into the bedrooms, you've got the main bedroom here with a big walk-in closet, as well as a in-suite bathroom. And another amazing view off of the patio area. You can see off the ocean as well as all the way up into the city and through the hallway here you've got the other two bedrooms and bathroom as well as the laundry which is nice to have it all upstairs and the other bedrooms Almost forgot there's also this uh, nice bonus room downstairs and it you know can be used as a media room or um, whatever you might need. So it's got all three bedrooms upstairs and then uh, downstairs down below you got this um, extra bonus room. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed checking out this home today. It is, uh, is 1.69 million and it is um, a condo. So, you know, you do have the HOA, uh, has a pool, and, you know, like I mentioned, you're right by the beach and all the Riviera Village shops. So, um, that is just some of the options you have here in the South Bay. And if you're interested in checking out any of the homes here in the South Bay, feel free to call or text or email me.